What is up people, I am Ronit back again with another video in today's one. We will be discussing about the latest version of Krita which is Krita 4.4 and we will be quickly discussing about all of its new features in this video coming up. So here we are in Krita 4.4, if you want to download the same version, you can just simply go check the description of this video, there will be a link, you can go download it from there. So I'm assuming you already have this. If you look closely, you can easily observe that they have not changed a lot in terms of the user interface of the software or the appearance of the icons. Because most of the changes they have done in this update are pretty minor, but still we will be discussing them one by one from my most favorite to my least favorite updates and features. So starting off with the one which I really liked the most, which was my paint selector tab or tool. For using that, first of all, just simply choose a color you would naturally choose and after you have done that, you have selected your color, in my case which is red, simply press shift and M and this will make the paint selected tab pop up. In this tab over here we have some diagonal sliders and using these sliders what you can do is you can change the saturation as well as the brightness of your already selected color. However this tab is still looking kind of unpolished in terms of the user interface I hope they will be improving it later on in the upcoming updates but for now it is pretty nice you can just simply scroll across and you can just simply change the saturation and the brightness of your color the way you want it to be. Uh, it is pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty nice, you can use that to just make your workflow much more easier. So another thing they have added is the lightness feature in the Krita brush engine. So if you select the lightness and turn on the mixed parameter over here, so now you can see there is a major difference in how your brush strokes will appear. Because the lightness of the color will change on the basis of how lightly or forcefully you press your stylus on your drawing tablet. However, if you want to play around with it, if you want to know how strong or weak your color transitioning will look, you can just simply change the graph over here if you want to and you can see as you change the graph the results will change as well. By the way, this feature is really nice if you want to give that gradient feel to your colors and your strokes but yeah, other than that I don't see any other use for this. The heart and soul of this entire update, Krita 4.4, is in the fill layer option. If you go press this arrow like icon next to the plus icon over here, as soon as you click on it, there will be a bunch of layer options presented to you. Just simply press the fill layer and as soon as you click on it, there will be a ton of options to play around with for creating your fill layer. So first of all, there is color, which is pretty standard. You can just simply change the color of your fill layer. The next is the multi grid option, which is just added. It is something which is new. So basically using these three sliders, you can make your own symmetrical patterns using some math related crap and equations. So personally, I really don't have any interest in using these options, but still you can change these sliders and change how your patterns will look and all that kind of cool stuff. But still, if you want to use it, it does exist and it is just right over there if you want to use it. So the next thing they have added is in the patterns. By the way, if you want to check out more of my content, I've already covered a video on how you can create your own patterns in Krita. So yeah, if you're interested, you can check it out. I will be providing a screen card somewhere over here, annotation, as well as uh, there will be a link in the description if you want to check it out. So in here, in patterns, the thing they have added is the option to manipulate the transformation as well as the rotation of your pattern, which was previously not present over here. So if you go to the transformation tab, and start changing the rotation like this you can easily see these changes are applied to your current layer in real time another interesting update they have added to Krita 4.4 is the screen tone layer generator however it seems more like a pattern generator where instead of creating one pattern from scratch you can just use some sliders and existing options and variables over here for creating your own screen tones. So as you can see over here I can simply change the pattern style, its shape and its interpolation from the given options and, and there are other couple of sliders to change the transformation of my screen tone patterns, all that kind of cool stuff. Now coming to the next feature they have added. Personally speaking, I have no actual fucking idea what this option does and why is it even added to Krita 
and according to the documentations i read uh, it is a kind of a technique which is often used by disney studios or pixel art animations for generating their backgrounds by their digital artists so basically what happens here is that you feed in some codes in this software over here you feed some bunch of codes and on the basis of those entered codes the software generates some specific images for you because according to them it is much more convenient for saving time as well as space especially during the production of such animations still i will recommend you to check it out by yourself there will be a documentation in the description if you want to check it out if you want to know more about these features and their updates in depth because i wanted to make this video short and save a lot of your time so yeah this is it for today's video and this entire update if you're new to the channel you can consider subscribing because i make content related to digital art krita and other cool stuff so yeah you can consider subscribing you can turn on the notifications if you have any video ideas you can comment down in the comment section down below i'll see you guys next time until then peace